Hey, Vasily, where are you going? I'm going to Moldova. But why? I'm in love with their wines. What the wine you drank to be so much in love with? You'll find that in the episode number seven. So on my fifth episode, as you remember, we we're talking about a wine where we've got in focus black mold fruit. And probably some of you will say, hey, I would like to have some red fruit, some tart, some red currants, some uh, red cherries, morello cherries. I like, I like to have some acidity. I like to feel as well the part of the chocolate, the part of the, a bit of the bell pepper. And yes, bell pepper, you guessed. It's one red grape varietal that automatically links to the bell pepper. We're talking about the Cabernet Sauvignon. And today we are reviewing in the episode number seven, 310 altitude series from Fautor, Cabernet Sauvignon and Fetiasca Niagara. Fetiasca Niagara, it's a native Moldovan grape varietal that plays really well in this mariage with Cabernet Sauvignon. And, and if you are expecting a cold wine with very ripe tannins that will attack you with a lot of body, with a lot of acidity, no. This wine, again, as typical in Moldova, goes so, so nicely, elegantly, and velvety. This wine already knows, gives those pleasant aromas that indicate that on a palate we'll have exactly the same velvety sensation. And yes, that's what we have, guys, on the palate about this wine. We have those red cherries, we have red currants, we have the chocolate, very fine dark chocolate. We have a little bit of spices and a small hint of the red bell pepper that is typical in the DNA of the Cabernet Sauvignon. You don't know about Fautor Winery yet? You definitely missed the episode number two. I strongly recommend to review it because we are talking about a winemaker that creates history in Moldova nowadays. Cheers! Have only good, great wine.